Good evening, everyone. Well, tonight I am going to offer everyone who listens to this broadcast a free copy, PDF copy, of my poem book called Poems for Edification. Actually, it's volumes one through five. I enjoy, a number of years ago, I enjoyed writing poems. I haven't written poems for about three or four years, but I did enjoy that period of my life. Um, I hope this work will bring you comfort and build you up in the most holy faith of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. These poems came about as a direct result of me being woken up in the middle of the night with pain of my arthritis. <laughs> to God be the glory in all things. Now I've included my email in this video. So you email me at rothmillerstewart at gmail.com Roth, R-O-T-H, Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R Stewart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T, at gmail.com and just say, send me your poem book. And when I get it, I'll send you a PDF copy of this book. This um, book has um, a hundred and... Hundred and twenty four poems in here. So that was hundred and twenty four nights that I would probably I doubt if I would write one more than one poem a night. Now I've read these before, but you know I never get tired of reading these poems because each one of these poems has a special memory to me as to what was going on when I wrote it. If you ever write, if you ever write like I've written five different books, every book that I've ever written has a special meaning to me. Whether you're talking about the book Phillips versus the State of Missouri, uh, The Lies of Free Will, Biblical Christianity, um, God does not love everyone, but he does love his elect from everlasting to everlasting, or this poem book. They all have a special purpose as to why I wrote them. Now the first poem in this book, we put it to, mis to music. So I'll sing you the first one. Looking back in history, we see events unfold. And the greatest story in history is the greatest story ever told. It is not just a novel. No, this story is true. How God sent his son to die. To redeem his chosen few. Praise and thanksgiving we give to the Son. Who in the courts of heaven with the three in one. Made provision for the sinner. Through his blood the work is done. The plan was determined between the Trinity and this great story in history would be a certainty God would redeem his people a ransom he would pray Christ would be slain on Calvary in history on that day you see scripture tells us that he was slain 
in eternity before the world began it was predetermined yes it was his master plan praise and thanksgiving we give to the son who in the courts of heaven with the three in one made provision for the sinner through his blood the work is done Well, the next one is entitled Satisfied. Satisfaction comes from knowing that within my heart and mind there's an inner peace of glowing and in Christ I can find. A refuge for the soul when life is tough to take. Christ tells us in his word, I will never thee forsake. Oh, the joy and peace he's living, having raised up from the dead. Christ the King of glory is seated on his royal throne, and he intercedes for me when in my spirit I can only groan. Lord, show mercy to this floundering heart once more, I pray. So at sunrise, noon, or evening, I may in thy presence stay. May your grace so envelop everything I say and do that the world will have no question that I am your child too. Let the tribulations I go through be a witness of your grace. May my enemies not overtake me. Let their curses be erased. May your power, love, and purpose be demonstrated in my life. And may I find satisfaction in the midst of all this strife. And when I draw my last breath and am taken home to be with you, may my passing over be of satisfaction too. I'll be satisfied in knowing, even though it's been a test, that I'm now transcending into your perfect rest. Well, the next one is entitled, Christ Brings Calm to the Soul. Christ brings calm to the soul when the changes of wind blow. When it seems a mystery of which way I should go. Christ brings calm to my soul when questions vex my mind. I have always found that in Christ I can find comfort knowing he's in control. Christ brings calm to my soul when nothing seems to change. His cool waters of blessing he does for me arrange. Christ will bring calm to my soul when I'm lying close to death. May I praise his holy name when I take my last breath. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of poems in this poem book. You know, I entitled this one, My Petition. Dear Lord, the reins of my heart are in your hands. When troubled waters are before me, my enemies obey your command. Who can in thy holy presence stand? But those whom thou hast delivered with your mighty hand and chose them in Christ before the world began. My hope rests in your finished work and in your Son, who gave his life a ransom for many, to rescue their souls from death for eternity. What a delight is I trust in your grace and mercy to think that you have chosen me to raise me from death to life and set my soul in Christ at liberty. When I come to stand before your holy throne, may I trust in Christ and Christ alone and, and abide forever with you for your blood for me atones. The next one is entitled God's Love. When I think of God's love and what he did for me by dying on the cross unconditionally, I am sometimes overwhelmed in my mind and in my soul why this precious Savior would even care to give himself on Calvary for my life to spare. He could have gone about doing other things, like watching the angels or listening to them sing. But to come to this sin-cursed earth and to die for me is the greatest expression of love that I will ever see. How can I thank you, Lord, for being oh so kind to realize that before creation you had this worm in mind, 
to come and shed your blood and endure such scorn and pain should cause me to give you praise in an eternal refrain. Help me demonstrate in some real way this grace and love to others is my prayer today. So many times I forget what an awesome thing you did for me when you died and rose again to set my soul at liberty. Thank you. Well, I'll read a couple more before we conclude tonight. I like this one because, you know, when I wrote this, uh, when it was a special night, I don't know, you know, it's amazing what comes over you sometimes when you write. This is called Creation is a Wonder of Your Might. When I awake at early dawn and the sunlight glimmers on my face, Father, I then know that creation is a wonder of your might. When my heart feels the comfort of your spirit's wooing, I want to thank you for your amazing grace. When the flowers bend their heads waving to me at sunrise, Father, I then know that creation is a wonder of your might. When I remember resurrection morning, your sun rising from the dead, I want to thank you for your glory fills the skies. When I see the robin, the redbird, and the dove waking to a new day, Father, I then know that creation is a wonder of your might. Knowing that Christ is seated at your right hand, I know someday I to paradise will take my flight. When the squirrels rise early playing in the trees, Father, I know that creation is one of your might. I then know that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And thank you again for your love shown on Calvary. <coughs> when I see and hear the waters of a creek on the mountainside, Father, I then know that creation is one of your might. And the water and the blood that flowed from your riven side reminds me to be so thankful for the day for me you died. And in the early morning when the sun begins to set, I'm sorry, and in the early evening when the sun begins to set, Father, I didn't know that creation is one of your might. As the cool breeze blows and the robin returns unto her nest, the rest I have in Christ, your perfect sacrifice, was met. When I see the fawn by the road peering through the trees, Father, I didn't know that creation is one of your might. And I see your mother not very far away. Once again, the great shepherd beckons me to my knees. When this old world with all its sin is burned up and destroyed, Father, I then know that creation is a wonder of your might. As the new Jerusalem descends from heaven with wonder and delight, I want to thank you for fulfilling Christ's promise and I'll be overjoyed. What marvels await for me in this new city, I am told. Father, I then know that creation is a wonder of your might. I'll live in a city where I'll never grow old and I'll forever thank you for the sweetest story ever told. Well, may the good Lord be with you. And again, if you send me your email, I will make sure that you get a free copy of the PDF um, of this poem book. God bless.